Deny by default means that we restrict communications and other activity on our systems down to exactly what we want to happen on those systems and nothing additional. The purpose of an IT network is just to provide connectivity and not get in anybody's way. So it needs to be flexible, it needs to be dynamic, it needs to respond to change on its own. An OT environment doesn't have that degree of dynamism because there are some very specific purposes that we build these networks for. They support industrial control systems. A lot of typical cybersecurity solutions will protect the perimeter with a firewall or something like that. Uh, what's unique about our solutions at SCL is we have technologies like OT-SDN where we are inspecting messages at every hop through the network. And deny by default means that if we don't recognize that message, we don't only prevent it from continuing, we also report it up to a system that an operator can monitor. So really it's like SDN just hands you needles instead of the haystack to, to dig through. OTSDN can give you unparalleled confidence in the operation of your network. The fact that we're designing these systems for a purpose and for security means that the failover cases are already defined as well. So if we have any link broken in our network, the recovery times and the heal times are orders of magnitude faster than what you would get with a traditional IT network. We already know how to design rock solid industrial control systems. Those same disciplines are what you need to develop cyber secure solutions. So you can set up deny by default communications if you understand the application and you understand the environment that you're operating in.